What's going on everybody and welcome to another Coffee Break episode. Today we got uh, Marcus, also known as Vision, correct? Yes. Um, he's a digital creator, videographer, um, has a lot of cool projects that, that he's doing and um, we want to get to know a little bit of what he is in the creative space, how he got into the creative space and what are his plans for the, for the future. Um, bro, thanks for, for coming through. Of course, of course. For joining me on this. We just met, like, also, man, yeah, it was yeah. just a real organically. So I appreciate the, the time you're, you're coming here, man. Welcome to a coffee break. Of course, man. Hope of you course. like the coffee. It's great. You already it's like know. the name. <laughs> yeah, great coffee's in the building. Let's have a sip here. So, bro, when, when I met you, you know, we were, you know, doing some, some video work and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Um going to you like what what made you go into like this this whole video space like were you did you have a nine to five before you actually went full uh, video work yeah so i mean i always get the question a lot like for when i'm at a shoot like you know making conversation someone will go hey like how do you get into this and i never really truly know how to answer that question because i've always been a, it's weird i've always been attracted to cameras i've always been interested in in cameras and uh recording videos i remember me and my brother when we were younger, we would always make skits. My mom had like a, like an old VHS camera, so we would take that, make skits with it. I remember, uh, my dad had like the old MacBook laptop, like the old white. Well, the bulky thick, one. Yeah, the thick white one. Yeah, I would use the webcam on that. Yeah. And I would make videos on that, and uh, I was just always, I always found myself attracted to it for some reason. Mm. I don't, I can't, I don't know where it comes from. I just was always into it. Always was into movies always into film, just yeah. had a natural attraction to it. And as far as uh, a nine to five job, yeah, I've worked like, uh, when I was like 15, I got a job at a pizza place. That was like the only like true like nine to five job okay. that I ever had. And uh, so, but it, I kind of fell into entrepreneurship. It felt it felt really natural for me. Okay. You know, I had that, that pizza job, like I was saying, from when I was 15 to probably I, like 17 that's when I graduated high school and I thought I wanted to go to art school so uh I would go to art school for a semester in New York you know move out there in the dorm everything like that mm. and I'm there and it's it, it's just not what I don't I don't necessarily know if it's not what I expected it to be but it's not what I wanted or needed it to be and so I ended up uh dropping out and um mm. I go back home I'm like, I need a job. So I go work at the pizza place again. And then, but I just start hustling, start hustling, you know, trying to get videos wherever I can, working mm -hmm. with whoever I can. And um, then I started going out to LA a lot, started traveling around. And I remember just like one week, I just look and like, I'm just off the schedule of the job. And I'm like, I, I guess this is just what I'm doing now. So wow. long answer, answer your question. Yeah, I did have a job, but I fell into the supernatural. Wow, so it was just like, yeah, it's all organically that it came. But you were always entrepreneur, like driven, I guess, in, in a way. Yeah, but I, I'd never really, like, thought of it that way until very recently. It was never like, oh, like, I'm, like, I never thought of myself as an entrepreneur. I just thought mm. of it as, I like doing this and I'm good at it. And I'm just, I happen to make money off it. And then, you know, as you get older, you know, you got to pay bills. You got to. Mm -hmm. So then it becomes like, all right, I'm an entrepreneur. I have to hustle. I have to make things happen. Things don't just fall into your lap. Right. Yeah. So. Interesting. That, that, that was, I, I thought the story was going to be a little bit different, mm -hmm. you know, but um, that's kind of interesting. And every, that's why everybody has their own way of how they fall into to right. certain things that they do. Right. Right. That's why um, this this season of the coffee break is actually called celebrating people. That That's mostly like the highlight of it, mm -hmm. because. It's just there's a lot of people doing really cool stuff out there. They're just not getting highlighted right. for what they're doing, right. you know. Um, and you have a, a history now. You have a resume of just things since probably since you were 15, 16 years old, yeah. you know, from pizza. Mm -hmm. You landed in, in videography, yeah. um, doing videos and stuff like that. So now how has it been and how have you developed yourself from, you know, recording at a, at a, from a Mac laptop, mm -hmm. you know, to now actually physically using cameras and knowing ISO, aperture, and all these other like you know technicalities of, of just what it is to do film. Right. I mean, so I feel like there's two ways to answer that. Like, I could go in into like the gear and like all the 
you know, learning all the fancy gear and being around all of that type of stuff. Um, or, you know, you could talk about like self-development and how, how much that, I feel like that plays way more of a major role for you. You know, um, I feel like, so I worked, I did a lot of work within the, the music space, okay. within uh, hip hop, doing a lot of music videos. That's where I started. And um, it's cool. It's kind of similar. Also, I'll tie this also to uh, when I was in high school, I'll do a lot of skateboarding videos. I skateboard and everything. So like the culture around skateboarding is like, it's like, oh, I don't care. Like do whatever, grungy. It's yeah. cool. It's cool to be that, that yeah. uh, type of character, you know? But as you get older, you realize... Like it's not cool to not care, you know. It's it's cool to it, it, it's it's actually the opposite. Mm -hmm. The boring answer is usually the uh, better one for you in the long term. So like you know, uh, I feel like self development has played a major role in uh, in kind of developing the business because once you you know take care of your body, take care of your mind, always make sure you're always trying to learn new things mm. and, and just grow and develop yourself, that's going to translate into your business ultimately at the end of the day. So that played more of a role in uh, developing it than anything else, I feel like. Oh, okay. So it was not even the gear or anything like that. It was just more of just self the, yeah. the self-development part of it. Because gear is always cool. Like you could always get new gear, but like if you develop your mind, and if you're always learning and always putting yourself in new situations, you're going to be able to handle different situations. Say you're on set and uh like you're missing this piece of gear all right well you got to make it happen another way you got to grow that creative mind and mm -hmm. and know how to problem solve and things like that so yeah that's good i like yeah. that yeah because sometimes people think right they want to get into to this whole like people used to ask me all the time like oh i want to i want to do something i want to do a podcast but mm -hmm. you know they they're they're in this mindset of like i need a five thousand dollar camera i need it i said bro if you got an iphone if you got a something simple that you can start with right. i started with 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 a just real simple iphone you right. know what i mean doing the same thing or just trying to get the feel for it right right but like you said it taps into that area of like how creative your mind is that are you going to be dependent on the gear mm -hmm. or, or are you just going to be dependent also on like building that craft right. which is what you did right. right you could always make things happen like even when people like i'll have clients come to me and they'll want to book me to do their podcast or do this thing that they're just starting. And I'm like, all right, before I even take your money, how about you go and just go film a podcast on your iPhone. You have an iPhone, go do it. See how, see if you even like it before you go spend all this money with me. And like, I, I want to make sure that like, or even more importantly, you have to make sure that this is something that you want to do and something that you're actually going to uh, pursue actively. Mm. So I, 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 I like that. And and how so now you're you you've been in the creative space for a, a, a decent amount of time, right? Mm -hmm. like, so what what has been like your biggest project like that that you've been able to take on? Um, I think in how I said I used to do a lot of music videos and whatnot. So there was a couple of uh, music videos that uh, got a lot of views and things like that. So again, I think it's another thing that you could answer with two questions. It could either mm -hmm. be the one that I favorited the most, the most? and or or the one that had the most views and everything. Right. So the one that would, I would say would have the most views and whatnot would be, uh, there was a music video I worked on with another director, one of my good friends, Declan Kyle. Okay. And uh, that music video got a couple million views. It was for So Fago, and the music video was called Every Day. Okay. Uh, it was a cool project. I loved working on it. It was super run and gun and then ended up becoming this big thing. So I would say that's definitely up there of uh, favorite projects. And then, I think I think that would answer it. That, that would ways. answer. Yeah. And then now, yeah. now we pivot a little bit uh -huh. into the your your my, worst, my, like your worst, worst. project, okay. like the one that you felt like it, nothing was working. Hmm. I think it's hard to answer that because even when things aren't working, it's kind of like you have to flip the mindset and like you could go home and be like, oh, that didn't work, and oh, this was so bad, and da, 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 this, that, and the third. But like we were saying before we were recording, like everything is, is a learning experience. So right. like it, whatever goes wrong, you got to take it and, and, and be like, okay, well, I'm glad that I learned it now as opposed to later down the line when I'm working on a big set or with big names and I fail then. Then it's a really big mess up. And, yeah. you know, so I'm glad I learned this now. So I never try to really frame my mind to look at it like, all right, this is the worst thing ever. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? 
I like that. Yeah. He has all, so then at the end, with you at least, mm -hmm. it's all about the mentality. Like, right. like where, where's your mindset, which is good. Right. Because, you know, you, you said something also that, that was, I, I don't know, you, you, in the creative world, sometimes it's almost like the music business, right? Mm -hmm. It could be shady in a way, you know what I mean? On, on projects that you're doing. If I'm either mixing or mastering a track for you or mm -hmm. whatever the case is, but there, there's always like shadiness that, that comes out of these, these um, transactions, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, and it's very hard to find good creative people that, that are for the benefit also for, for, for the person, you know what I mean? They're doing yeah. the work. So I like that you, you know, you had the client and you said, listen, before you spend all the money, you don't like, you hardly don't even see that, bro. Like somebody's going to tell you, Try it first. See if you like it. They're going right. to be like, okay, yeah, well, how do you want to do it? This right. is how much it's going to be. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just, I, I don't think that's a, a smart move because say you do that, right? Say I go and do this with the client. It's like, if you're not asking them questions and, and seeing, getting to the bottom of what they truly need and want, and, and you go and do that thing for them, they're not going to have the best experience with you because they didn't get what they truly needed. You mm -hmm. have to get to the bottom of what the client truly needs to fulfill what problem they're actually trying to solve. Otherwise, yep. you're just doing this surface level thing that has no real impact in, in their life. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it, everyone wins both ways when you're actually solving the problem. Yeah, yeah. No, that's good. Because I, I just seen in like from a creative to a creative. So sometimes even, I don't know if this come if this happens to you, but like also if you need stuff done, right? Mm -hmm. Like for yourself, mm -hmm. like having somebody to, to do a project for you or do something is always difficult mm -hmm. because you got all these other creatives that are kind of doing the same thing and there's always feeling like a competition. Do, yeah. do, do you feel that you see that also in this creative space that there's like competition of, of just people like not willing to even share sometimes yeah. like their, their own, you know, uh, tips and stuff like that? Yeah, I would say I try to steer clear from like those type of people, but um, you definitely see it a lot. Like you'll ask advice from somebody or mm -hmm. like shoot a DM like, yo, how do you do this? Or yeah. that? And, there's like, oh, nah, they try to give you like the super surface level answer. And it's like, oh, dude, like, come on. Like, what do you think? Like, yeah. I think the, the people who are afraid to share information or like share how they've done this thing or that thing, it's like, why are you holding on to that so bad? Is that the only piece of leverage that you have? Is that yeah. the only way you're, you're going to win? Because for me, I try to hand out a, a, as much as I can. Somebody asked me, yo, how do you do this? How do you do that? I'll tell you. And it's like, I don't feel like that's. Like I'm giving away all my secrets. It's like no, like I I have more. I I know yeah. I'll become better, and I'm always growing and always learning. So mm -hmm. I'm not afraid to give out things. So yeah. that's the way that I look at it. Yeah, me me too. It's just and and it's just like coming across people that have that same mindset. Mm -hmm. You there's a ton of creatives out there, but and then now going back into the the mindset. You know that's mm -hmm. more on character. Right. You know what I mean? Right. On how you are in character. Are you morally just you know? Um, right in mm -hmm. the ways that that you do things and that that plays a big role of who you are yeah. um as a creative and i guess that that's why you've been able to kind of like um succeed in that way that it just yeah. naturally came but and then things just opened up not because of the gear you got but more of because of the character you know what i mean of the way you go about yourself when it comes to this yeah no i think that's i think that's the difference between I guess an entrepreneur and someone who just does a job, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? That's, that's, that's the difference is the, the, the character you're willing to develop. Cause if you're someone who's trying to build your own business and be an entrepreneur, you have to hear no a thousand times. You have to be taking your ego has to get shred up a million times and you have to be able to, you know, get back up and be like, okay, well let's get it done anyways. Yeah. So, no, that's good. Yeah. So now what, where do you see yourself now in this new season, right, of, of, of just now you're kind of like seasoned in a way, you mm -hmm. know what I mean, in, in what you do. We're always going to be learning. Yeah. But where do you see yourself like in the, in the next, you know, few months to a year? Like, do, are, is there certain like things that you want to reach? Um, other avenues maybe that, that you want to take besides like music videos and just like the, the simple stuff? Yeah. So I would say all the music video stuff, like I kind of took a pivot around like two years ago ish. And now it's way more, the videos that I do now are, I work with a lot of businesses, do a, a lot of marketing videos mm. and uh, things of that nature. And I really, I see my, I just view myself as in the state I'm in right now as just a student, just learn as much as possible, absorb as much as possible and try to apply as much as possible. Mm. And then just fail and fail and fail and just literally just keep learning, keep building. I don't necessarily have like a written out like, okay, I need to, 
hit this maybe a couple of things here and there maybe monetarily and things like that mm -hmm. but like i'm just trying to learn fail and learn again and apply as much as possible that's really the goal right now i like that yeah yeah so that, that that's where you're kind of like in the direction that, that you're you're heading to. So you don't have like an overall goal that you want to reach, yeah. at least as, as of yet. Yeah, I would say um, if you're talking about specifically video, like I said, like mm -hmm. it's I pivoted more towards like the marketing video, working with businesses, like just corp, more 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 corporate related. Um, exactly. Um, okay. Yeah. Just because that's really the what I became interested in recently. I I, I want to learn more about sales. I want to learn more about marketing. And gotcha. then I want I just want to learn that aspect of things mm -hmm. and then be able to apply that. Like I said, I view myself more as an entrepreneur as opposed to when I was younger, I would just be like, oh, I'm just doing cool videos. Yeah, like, you know yeah. what I mean? So I just, I want to be able to make that pivot and just learn as much as possible, yeah, bro. I, I like that, cool. So now, uh, uh be, before we r wrap it up and and get a little bit more into just probably off camera stuff but what what's your uh, uh software of choice for for editing um premiere all the adobe stuff you like the adobe stuff yeah okay. i've used like everything like everything i've used it all and premiere just works for me but i'm just, i i could go on anything and it, it's it because of the ease of use uh yeah, I, I, I guess so. I was just just used to it at this point now, and it's pretty just standard. Yeah. So like, if you want to like download something, it's easily it's just it. hooks into it. It has like its own ecosystem. Exactly. Yeah. What 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 did you start with when you were you know? I'm pretty sure if you had the Mac mm -hmm. that time, you were doing Final Cut uh, or something like that. iMovie. I, I, oh, you were on iMovie. Yeah, yeah, iMovie before like even before because that comes downloaded and it's free. Yeah. On the, on the uh, on the Mac laptop, so yep. I was doing iMovie and like messing around with like. I would like rip videos off YouTube, like green screen overlay videos and just yeah. rip them and like throw them on my video. I thought I was doing like special yeah. effects and yeah. <laughs> whatnot, so. Yeah, and, and actually iMovie had, for being such like, you know, a, yeah. a kind of um, a, a software that's yeah. on, built in, it was a pretty cool tool yeah, to, it was. to use actually. Especially like you don't know anything and you're just like, oh, I could crop in this. Mm -hmm. like, whoa. Like this is nuts, like. And then when they brought it over to the iPhone, it yeah, was just like yeah. it made it it's so much easier and right. stuff like that, right. which, which was cool too. Yeah. So now you 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 got all these things that 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 you're building up, and and it looks like you're in a, in a in a in a season of just like learning a lot. Yeah. You know, you want to continue to to learn and stuff like that more mm -hmm. uh, of what you're doing. Um, now, like wrapping, kind of like wrapping things off. Do, do you see yourself like also? going in more into the business side of, of things like you know you you got the talent mm -hmm. you you have the eye or do you tap into the business side as far as like what what makes your brand now like what what makes your your brand different from from other brands yeah right no definitely i think like everyone who wants to you know like you said tap into that business side at some point you have to stop working within your business and work on your business i know yep. that's a big saying mm -hmm. so like at some point you kind of do have to you have to detach yourself from certain things that like people like us who are really creative minded you're like oh, but i really want it to be edited this way you kind of have to let go and be like all right listen everything can't be like that but um maybe not forever but for a certain period of time you have to kind of do that so yeah i do definitely want to get there but you know it's, it's a process and and i'll always still be a creative at heart i'll always yeah. still I'll always still be filming videos, no matter what, however big it gets. I yeah. always, it's just my passion. I yeah. love it. So when you went to, also when you went to school, mm -hmm. and um, did did you feel like your 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 school gave you anything, like when it comes to this creative stuff, or you pretty much learned on 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 your own? Like, yeah. Stuff? I mean, I, I I'm not gonna blame the school. You know, the school is is good. It works for certain people. I right. see people who who went there with me, and they're mm -hmm. thriving. It just for a personality type like me, it it didn't work. And as well as as like you're saying, I was there uh, the first semester. I'm in editing class, and it's like I know everything. Like or not like oh, I'm a crazy expert, but it's like I'm gonna have to sit here for at least another two years before I get to before you the curriculum catches up to where I'm already at. And by then, that's ex me expecting not to learn mm -hmm. more by then already. So it's like. It's it, it didn't match up like okay yeah so now to cl close this out like um is there anything that you would want to share to to someone that wants to get into the creative space um into the creative space I would say 
don't fall into the the trap of because I, I feel like there's a culture around creative sometimes where it's like oh you don't have to care and like you could just be a rock star like and live a crazy life and like like develop yourself make sure that uh you're working on yourself every day because that will help you creatively at the end of the day as well i know it's not popular and it's the boring answer but mm -hmm. working and developing on yourself it, it will help you creatively mm -hmm. so that's the advice i'll give to creative. work on yourself yeah there it is marcus also known as vision um, I'll be putting all his information on the on the on the platform on the channel, your Instagram. Mm -hmm. or, you're you're mostly fluent in, in the Instagram. Yeah, uh, Instagram, uh, Facebook, uh, stuff Facebook, like yeah, that, yeah. Twitter, yep. X. I mean, mm -hmm. yep, yep. So follow him. Make sure to follow him if you got work they need to be done. Listen, this this is the the, the guy to go to, um, and I think he has a, a a good you know you got a good head on your shoulder as for where you're heading. Mm -hmm because of your character, you know what I mean? I think character speaks a lot of volume. For so sure. I appreciate you for being that way, and, and especially in the, in the creative world. Thank you. Um, but this is Marcus, also known as Vision. Thank you for tuning in to another coffee break. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit him up. Hopefully, maybe he can, you know, be a part of your new project. Uh, but with like every other project and with like every other coffee break, never settle with being good when you've been meant to be great. See you later. Coffee break, everything, 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 ever